So as we listen to this gospel of Mark, it is exactly the institution of the Holy Eucharist at the Last Supper, the Passover of the Jewish. Mark, you will remember, is the first of the gospel written. And uh, this gospel was written not during the time of Jesus, many years, many years after the death of Jesus. They say around 45 or 50, maybe how many, 20 years have passed. So what they can recollect, recollect what Jesus did. So the mark is, they say, the most original, exact originality of the, what takes place in the Passover celebration. So Jesus told the two disciples, as usual, the Passover celebration, to prepare the Passover. Every year we have preparing for the Passover. We had to make that bread. We had to prepare everything for the Last Supper. So as Jesus told, exactly it is taking place. Now this feast of the body and blood of Christ, Corpus Christi, began in the 12th century. It began with a saint called Saint Juliana of Liege in Belgium, where Jesus appeared to this sister, a Dominican sister, and uh, asking her to have devotion to the Holy Eucharist. Until then, there was no special devotion. Eucharist is celebrated, but veneration of the Holy Eucharist in the tabernacle, benediction, adoration of the Eucharist started by this 12th century by this sister. And the sister told her experience of the vision of Jesus to the Bishop of Belgium, Liege, and where he was, Jesus had told her to spread devotion to the Holy Eucharist. And slowly, slowly the devotion started and this bishop happened to become the Pope Urban IV later on, and he made it a universal feast in the church, the whole church celebrating this devotion to the Holy Eucharist. So every day we have celebration. I said, St. Thomas Aquinas, one of the great theologians in our church, says that this is the most important, greatest of all miracle. Resurrection is a great miracle. Re resurrection of Lazarus is a great miracle. Healings are great miracles. We cannot compare. But they said this is the, Eucharist is the most greatest miracle because this miracle is taking place every day. Every day, every church, every parishes, communities, how many thousands and millions of Eucharist is being celebrated from morning till evening. So the miracle is continuing. Jesus told the disciples, do this in remembrance. Do this in remembrance of me. This is the only commandment that we never break. All other commandments we are breaking, is it not? We are breaking all the commandments, but this command we never broke. Church never has stopped. Every day, two, three mass. How many mass there was today here? How many masses are being celebrated around the globe? So the miracle is taking place every day, every moment. That is what we need to admire. We need to thank God. The work of Jesus continues. The miracle of Jesus continues in our midst. We are partakers. We are witness, like the first disciples that Jesus told, taking the bread, take, this is my body. So what Jesus did is that what we are doing, the priest take the bread, broke, blessed, gave thanks, and he says, this is my body. For us to more and more to understand, to appreciate this church, keeping this feast to make us real presence of Jesus. So it is not just ordinary bread, it is blessed or consecrated and so on. It is turned into the body of Christ. The wine that is turned into it is called transubstantiation. The substance is changed. Substance of change. Externally looks just a little piece of bread. 
But we understand more and more, we believe that it has become the body of Christ. Once it happened that a priest was celebrating Mass in Italy, it is a real miracle recorded. Even today, it is being spoken about it many, many, many centuries after. While the priest was celebrating, taking the, lifting the host at the moment of consecration, he was having a doubt. He doubted this is really changed into the body of Christ. That moment, blood, blood began to drop, drop from that piece of bread, from his hands and uh, the altar. So that this miracle is recorded. It is still preserved. Those clothes are still preserved. Many other miracles have taken place where the wine has turned into blood and uh, you know, the feast of Saint Janvarius. So blood become hard, then it will become liquid on a particular day and so on. So the miracles we have experienced in many people's encountering of Jesus' body, the bread turning into the body of Christ. So that we need more and more faith, the gift that Jesus has given us, more and more the real presence of Jesus. I am with you always. So that is the meaning of this celebration and when we receive the body of Christ today, we need to really to renew ourselves. So Eucharist has got a background of covenant relationship. The first reading book of Exodus, Jesus, Moses and the people made the covenant. Now the covenant is established. The animal sacrificed and cut apart, the blood is taken and sprinkled on the people and sprinkled on the altar, half and half. And also in the letter to the Hebrews, what happens? The letter to the Hebrews, it is not the blood of the animal. All the priests sacrifice Jerusalem temple on the Passover day. The animals are sacrificed. The blood is carried to the sanctuary and sprinkled on the altar, the sanctuary, and sprinkled on the people. A covenant is renewed, the covenant between God and the people. But in the Hebrews, in the New Testament, what it says? It is, this is not the animal blood that purifies us, but the blood of Christ. Jesus died on the cross, exactly at the moment of the Passover sacrifice, exactly the hour when Jesus sacrificed himself, died on the cross. And that is change. No more animal sacrifice. Only the blood of Christ takes away our sins. And that is what Jesus did with the apostles on the Passover day. Passover is his celebration of the freedom from sin and slavery. So Jesus' death, his blood washes away liberates and frees us. So every day we have opportunity to participate in the Mass, not only on the Sunday, but we can also come other days to participate in the Mass, receive the body and blood of Christ. May this feast renew our commitment, our covenant with the Lord Jesus who had died for us, not for our salvation. We are renewed in this covenant. Every Mass that we celebrate we are renewed, and the miracle happens when Jesus comes into our life. May this feast bless us abundantly, ourselves and our families. We grow day by day into Christ Jesus.